Come in, sunshine. Mm. Where's Grams? She's downstairs stirring porridge. Mm. Really? Shall we then? Shall we what? Oh, sh <laughs> shall we that? Yeah, that. Yeah. No? No. I'm not really in the mood. Mood? Who needs mood? What? Nothing a little toothpaste won't fix. Mm. I'm fine then. Don't kiss me. See if I care. Not so sexy when you're pouting. You know how many of these were in here when I bought them? Twelve. Mm-hmm. You know how many are in here now? Twelve. We haven't had sex in a week, Jen. That's hardly true. Not since Grams went to bingo. That was a week ago today. What am I, sex on a stick? I'm not a boy. I don't have the same kind of sex drive that you do, all right? Not to mention the fact that I, I live in mortal terror of my grandma's walking in on us in the middle of some ungodly act, so maybe that helps you to understand why I'm not jumping your bones every chance I get. Mm, wow. That is true what they say. What? Once you start dating, the sex goes right out the window. You are such a drama queen. <laughs> you know, there are other ways for us to be intimate. I'm all for that stuff. Yeah. Well, come on. <laughs> Is this what you're talking about, snuggling? Mm. Yeah. What did you think I was talking about? Nothing. Helpline, this is Jen speaking. Are you sure that that's actually a problem? Because speaking as a girl whose boyfriend wants to copulate every waking moment of the day, I would actually welcome the break. I mean, I appreciate the enthusiasm. It's just it's, it's, it's a little exhausting. This position, that position. You want my legs where? I mean, I can't even wear a skirt anymore without him taking it as an invitation to hike it up. Hey. Did you get me one? Uh, I didn't know you wanted one. Made me a boyfriend. Yeah, right. Good one, Jen. So I said I don't know what CJ stands for, but maybe the C stands for Krabby? What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. That's it. I don't like you using our problems in the bedroom to help other people. Oh, well, first of all, I wasn't aware that we had problems in the bedroom. And second of all, why not? Forget it. What, is this about sex? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. But, you know, if some girl called up and said that her boyfriend was pressuring her into having sex, you would slip on your very best, Dr. Drew, and you would tell her not to stand for it. Look, if what you told me about your past is true, then I'm guessing what I don't understand is, is why the creeps and the scumbags who treated you so poorly got the benefit of your sex drive. Whereas guys like me, who actually treat you fairly well, we get ridiculed for wanting to have sex with you. Wow, kudos to you, CJ. That is the nicest way that anybody's ever called me a slut. What are you talking about? Basically, what you're saying is if I can be a slut for other guys, why can't I be a slut for That's you? That's not what I mean. Whatever is the matter with you two? CJ thinks I'm a slut. I do not. Well, why would you think such a thing, Jennifer? Because he pretty much said so. No, I didn't. Well, CJ, why do you think Jennifer feels this way? Well, she seemed to like having sex right up until the moment she started having sex with me. That's not true. I see the problem here. 
You do? Mm. CJ. Jennifer is attempting for the very first time in her young life to have a full, well-rounded relationship with a boy. And Jennifer, CJ's problem is that he, like any young man of pure heart and good intention, is worried that you will always be more attracted to the rakes of this world. Well, you can tell CJ that nice pecs and a good six-pack only go so far. And you can tell Jennifer that what she just said didn't make me feel the slightest bit better. I have nice pecs. Jennifer, you can tell CJ that the best sex that I've ever had in my life has been with him. That'll do. You can tell Jen that I'm sorry if I made her feel bad. And that I was never insinuating that she be of questionable morality. And that I will snuggle with her anytime she wants. Well, I think my work is done here. I have peace to broker elsewhere in Beantown. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry about wanting to have sex with you. I mean, that's just how it is. That's how it's always going to be. You promise? Oh, I promise. Ooh. <laughs> I think I'm in the mood. <laughs> in the mood for what? <sighs> no, it just passed. No. I, I, I was just kidding. Shall we then?